John Bienenstock was born in Budapest, Hungary in 1936. His family moved to England to escape the impending scourge of World War II, and John grew up very active in sports. He credits his talents as a rugby player for opening doors to a good medical school. With his marriage to Dodie and a taste of the good life in London, it was then off to Harvard where the ultimate course of his specialization was decided. Dr. Bienenstock launched his impressive scientific career at McMaster University in 1968, and his pioneering work would ultimately have him recognized worldwide as one of the fathers of mucosal immunology. What I wanted to study was the effects of vitamin C on uh, basically on uh, uh, tissue and especially inflammation. And when I got to uh, Boston, and that was I was accepted by, by a man called Alan Cohen, who was a, who was a rheumatologist at that time. And when I, I got there, they said, uh, he's not here any longer. Uh, he'd gone to uh, the Boston City Hospital. And I said, well, what, what, what am I going to do? And they said, well, that's your choice. You've got calcium, you've got uh, collagen, or you've got immunology. So I chose calcium. They said, you can't do that. And they chose uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the second thing, which was, uh, which was collagen, you can't do that. And they said, it's immunology or nothing. So that's how I, <laughs> that's how I got to be an immunologist. He's probably best known for uh, being a real champion internationally of the field of um, the immune system at mucosal surfaces. We showed um, early on that uh, cells that uh, were in a particular mucosal tissue actually have a tendency, uh, lymphocytes, immune cells, to then travel to other mucosal sites. Like the lung and the gastrointestinal tract? Because of uh, that and uh, how the lung is connected into these, uh, these systems, because up to that time mostly the gut had been uh, looked at, uh, I think we made, a, we made a reasonable splash. Was the champion of a central postulate in the field that all these mucosal sites were linked by common mechanisms, cells and molecules? John is today uh, probably one of the world's most senior and renowned immunologists and expressed a form of immunity at the surfaces of the body in a way quite distinct from what we were studying arbitrarily in peripheral blood. And opened up new avenues of investigations, especially in understanding the defense mechanisms which operate on mucosal surfaces. Another one that he's extremely well known for is work in the field of neuroimmunology and how the nervous system and the immune system communicate, collaborate. He was involved early in the development of McMaster University Medical School. Uh, and I think he was instrumental as first associate dean research in the school, then as chairman of pathology, which became one of the strongest research-oriented pathology departments in the country, and then dean of that medical school. I think I'm most proud of having been part of McMaster Medical School, uh, when it really comes uh, down to it, that made it. Through his mentorship and his training of so many people spread um, that culture of research and discovery and excellence across the country in Canadian academia. John's charismatic, he's got a lot of flair, got a great sense of humor, very outgoing, but a tremendous mentor, is one of those people that helps Canada have the reputation it has. A true scientific visionary, exceptional leader and teacher, an internationally respected innovative research pioneer, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate Dr. John Bienenstock. <laughs>